When we talk about resonance structures for water, we need to understand a few things. The first is we need a valid Lewis structure for H2O. And this is really the only way we can draw the Lewis structure for H2O. The hydrogens share, so they have two valence electrons. So their highest energy level is full with only two valence electrons. And the oxygen, it has an octet with eight valence electrons. So this is the only way we can really represent water is a Lewis structure. We can draw it a little bit different, for instance, by having these bonds here represented as single lines and shifting things around to show the shape of the water molecule. But it's still the same Lewis structure. Each hydrogen has two valence electrons and the oxygen has eight. When we draw a resonance structure for a molecule, the first thing we need to have is a double bond or a triple bond. And we don't have that for water, so we really can't draw any resonance structures. If you had something like NO2 minus, you could draw a resonance structure. There's two ways you can do it. You could have a double bond here and a single bond here, or on this side, we have the single bond and the double bond. In each structure, we're using the same number of valence electrons. We've not moved any atoms. So in this case, we have a double bond. We can have these resonance structures. Note too, with resonance structures, this arrow here, they aren't switching back and forth. It's really the same representation of one molecule. It would just be an average of these two structures. But for water, H2O, we only have this one structure. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.